So this song, I always like to share, especially I share this story. Uh, when uh, I got out of songwriter's jail a couple of years ago, <laughs> and uh, and then the calling came, blah blah, and he called, and the world was calling, and all of a sudden Don Ho showed up in my dream, <laughs> and we were we were standing in Waikiki, just on the, outside of Waikiki. Now I, I grew up at the foot of Diamond Head. I only had two hotels when I grew up here. Yeah. Very beautiful, uh, for the most part, except for the whites only club that kind of still exists in town. Of you know, trying to get with the program a little bit. Uh, it was really beautiful, and it still has that magic. And, and then Don Ho came from the other side of the island, came from the tower patch, came from the mud, came but his love of people. And I stayed with him for five years. He, he kind of threw his door open to me when I was running around and I went off and trying to stop this and save this and oh my gosh, you know. And um, few people know that he really was uh, an advanced, uh, his perspective of Hawaii was to, of course, protect the Hawaiian people. And that's not just the ones with the blood. This is, this is the whole fabric of the whole rock. How miraculously the people brought in for the plantations really found a way to, to you know, know the boundaries and respectfully help each other and their cultures merging. But then a new wave came, 1959. So in my dream, Donald's, and you couldn't, have, you couldn't recognize Donald now. If he was walking on the street, you'd really have to know him. Because he'd have these big dark glasses on, this kind of golfer's hat, baggy old pants, funky old shirt. He'd just be walking like that. But anybody who can do two shows a night, for six nights a week, for 15 years, and never miss a show except on my account, <laughs> is a really great guy. He never ever played the same show twice either. Every morning he'd get up, he'd find out who was coming in, and, 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 and just he was this wonderful man who asked me to write a song one day, because I just, I had to go back to Mamalo, climb in the trees, and go back Big Island. So he said, you got, you got to leave us something. So four hours later, I went down to his dressing room and handed him a song that he was the first person to record, really support. And it's, it's a song now that in Hawaii, uh, it's kind of hard to get away from. We can all sit in our back rooms and got this group and that sovereignty group and those guys are going over the hill and you know, everybody's going all over the place. When they hear this song, it's like it kind of reminds them that we're all together and that we need to, you know, it's not like if more people show up at the, at the meeting or the party that you tell them to go away, you just get another table. And it's in the continuation of that. So this song, All Hawaii Stand Together. And uh, my day, no Hawaiian name. I didn't even get to eat Hawaiian food. Uh, language, I had to sneak around the corner and, until I get caught listening. And uh, so, but the music was always there. <clears throat> Grew up because that was the only way the Hawaiians could really communicate was through the music. Whoever had the, the best the hottest Hawaiian group, that's who everybody voted for. And it was kind of like that, the messages, because the language was beaten out, but not now. Now the governor and the course, they're going to have to get interpreters, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, time to say, Yeah, really a powerful thing. So, Mati Pilati, Paki, translated it, this song into, into the, the, uh, the old language, which, by the way, uh, once I was up in Hopi in the winter of 78, and as the Hopi elders uh, had come by and to show me their petitions so that they would be, 
so the grandfather would be assured that they kept to their promise that they would never engage in war. I started talking about Kauai and all these words, and all of a sudden I was interrupted, and they all said, well, that was the old language. And less than a week ago, we're up at Flagstaff, and uh, uh, old man Jones, when he admitted, first thing he said when he opened his mouth, he says, yeah, we used to go back and forth when there was the land bridge. Can you, how, can you imagine how many millenniums of time are wrapped up in that one statement in that oral memory? Okay. Back to the time when you could walk. So this song, All Hawaii Stands Together, <clears throat> All Hawaii, Hawaii, the breath of life, the waters of life, and the fire. We're all Hawaii. Hawaii is, is the whole world. You know? So, you can sing with us. Oh, 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 oh,
And you know, when you get, when you're full of love and you're full of, you know, what happens to that when you get it just squished and you can't love and you can't look at people and you can't see above you know, the stars anymore. It's got to go someplace, so stand by. Because that understanding, the love, the culture of the Hawaiian people, Polynesia, and, uh, you know, so it's, uh, we look forward, I look forward to pretty exciting, exciting times, you know, and uh, wish well for everyone here. Uh, you know, if we can make it more rain, we're over there praying, you know, if you need it more dry, we pray for dry too, you know, <laughs> whatever, whatever it's going to take, okay. And uh, really uh, thank you to Laulani because she kind of has brought me out of the bushes, so to speak. <laughs> and uh, take me on the trail and you know, get to sit in and all this stuff and maybe sprinkle a little bit of the dust from the trail that I walked on. And, uh, and once again, mahalo. Mahalo. Kala. Mahalo to everyone, safe journeys home, and uh, still only the middle of the year, man. Now what's going to happen next for? <laughs> hey, stand by. I think Monarchy is up to bat, surely, and, and food. I want to start bringing some taro over, seriously, uh, uh, to the East Coast and stuff. We sort of left our calling cards, and, uh, and, so, uh, and put more music. Laulani's been helping me archive it, and I'm a really difficult kind of guy. And, um, you know, I just kind of... This is like the, the CBO over there, you know, Richard, he, he, he made all these songs, and then, so I'm, I'm on a big island. Now. I mean, literally three different court cases trying to save this land and everything. Richard calls me a day and says, Oh, bro, I just wanted to check in, you know, let you know that really wanted, you know, it's going to be how, you know, you, you, how it's going to be, how you're going to say it's how it's going to be. You've been telling me this for 15 years, right? <laughs> so something told me, just call him back and I just called Richard and said, Richard, you know, However you want to arrange those songs, however you're going to mix it, however you're going to do it, I just want you to be happy. <laughs> and then he sent me a copy of that. There's two more, it's actually a trilogy of songs. And, uh, right over there. You know, yeah, they help yourself there. And, and at moonzik.com, there's a bunch more of Lico's songs are up on there too. So, and, uh, anyhow, you search them on the... Even YouTube, we got a couple of videos on this. You know, who needs a record company? You got YouTube and the queen of paparazzi. No, but every, every, every day and every second, the queen changes. And you got whole queens and kings in there. And you know, you can't even leave it. She says, I have to get used to it. We have to have a stage. She go, I thought you were singing. That's all right. It's part of the world now, you know. Yeah. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Aloha. Aloha.